Well, good morning. My name is Jose Manuel Pastor. I come from Florida Universitaria and Associated Center to the University of Valencia and the Politecnic at the University of Valencia. And I'm going to present you our work developing a MOOC for the learning of mobile app design JavaScript project. It's made in cooperation with the University of Coventry in the United Kingdom and another associated center in, to the University of Udine in Italy and another partners. The objective of uh, our project is the design of a training curriculum linked to the learning outcomes addressed to mobile app creators to improve their design and business skill. We consider our starting point from three general questions. Once we know there is a need in the field of the mobile app design, the questions are where does the new curriculum come from, which is the source of the curriculum structure, contents, and who decides the contents of, uh, to be taught. Well, that scape is an international consortium with partners from Belgium, Italy, Spain, and the United Kingdom, and in the three countries, in four countries, there are three types of partners in this country. For example, in Spain, our public administration partner is the Consejería de Educación del Gobierno de Navarra. Our professional association partner is the Asociación de Técnicos Informáticos located in Madrid, and the Florida Universitaria is the educational institution. All the partners agree with uh, these two basic ideas. That curriculum in higher education needs the proper views to the continuous change in society, and for every new device is used, its application in the different educational levels follows. And what about the description of the project? Actually, the project is funded with the framework of the European Plus program of the European Union, and the course takes it into account into three different frameworks. Um, the ESCO, the European Skills, Competences and Qualifications and Operation Framework, the EQF, which is the European Qualification Framework, and the NQF, the National Qualification Framework. And the course will be available in a MOOC platform to make it more accessible. In this project, we try a new, to find a new way to develop the learning content focuses on employability. We're we'll continuing with the description of our project. It's organized in three, in seven work packages. Work packages three, four, and five are the products and uh, work packages. The work package three entails the identification of skills with matches to be defined during first European Junior Skills Panorama and analyzing them the mobile app creation uh, process. Work package four uh, focuses on the definition of learning outcomes, the curriculum design, and the development of training contents. And work package five in the organization of the training training <coughs> seminars aim to close the set of this match uh, identified in work package three. Work packages one, two, six, and four focuses on timely execution, quality assurance, explanation strategy, evaluation of the learning outcomes, and expected impact and results. Continuing with the description, we have work on learning objectives, learning contents, and learning experience. According to the recommendations of the European Union, learning objectives are elaborated from the te uh, teacher's perspective, just as learning outcomes are uh, defined from students' perspective. For developing the learning contents, we have taken as an input the curriculum structure. The learning outcomes are classified and grouped thematically into autonomous modules and units. About the learning experiences, uh, organization of educational experiences is to produce a greater effect, and they must be so organized that they reinforce each other. And what are the results? More than, not almost, more than 100 companies from Belgium, Spain, Italy, and the United Kingdom in the field of the mobile app development participated in a survey carried out to determine which knowledge, skills, and attitudes are required in those persons who would, would like to professionally develop the mobile app. This time in development, as a result, we have a course consisting of 60 hours, four modules, and 20 learning outcomes from a previous selection of 100 more uh, learning outcomes that we detected. And all over the platform, a new platform, in this case it's Versal, the new platform we have used. Here you are the, the most uh, appreciated skills by companies according to the survey results. These are the basics we have used to develop the content. For example, table one shows you the business skills management, uh, the business management skills, up to nine business management skills were emphasized by the companies. Table two shows you the marketing and promotion skills. Up to five uh, um, skills in this field were emphasized by, by companies. And table three, four, and five shows you the most appreciated uh, skills uh, in the technical uh, app in, in the technical area. For example, table one shows you the business. Uh, sorry, 
table three. Table three shows you the most demand skins in the design of mobile apps. We have user app interaction, usability, detecting user requirements, and app architecture design. Table four shows you the skins in mobile app testing. That's mobile app user test, mobile app quality control, photo and control, and analytical use of data. They are the most uh, appreciated skills. And table five shows you the skills demanded in maintenance tasks of mobile, of mobile apps. User experience, open mind for user feedback and clinical support skills. The number shows you what, which one was uh, firstly identified by companies. As a conclusion, uh, we have that uh, three main conclusions. The organization of the project in work packages is, uh, is an effective and efficient process of enhancing the communication among partners. We designed the training course in new format, taking into account for the ESCO, EQF, and national qualification regulations. Adjusted to quality patterns, allowing this transferability to all European countries. It's a future oriented uh, project that serves as an experience for other courses development with similar characteristics. And the main conclusion for us is that the creation of a network of educational administrations at public level, educational institutions, and business organizations, capable of keeping the course contents updated with the aim of increasing students' employability, is a warranty for the course uh, sustainability. That's uh, our main conclusion. And finally, I would like to thank the responsible of this track for the opportunity to attend this conference to present our work. Thank you very much. This is a question. Thank you. Thank you.